one of my favorite movies and it really takes me back to being a kid. The Green Goblin symbolizes Spider-Man's double identity because both Norman Osborn and Peter Parker have lives that they keep separate from their rivalry as Green Goblin and Spider-Man. He's the only Spider-Man villain in this movie with a double identity. Everyone else is who they are all the time. It's gonna be really hard to hide giant mechanical arms that are implanted into your back and being made of sand. And the lizard, he, he is what it is. Electro shouldn't actually be in Spider-Man No Way Home because of a plot hole that we'll talk about in, in the next part of the video. Green Goblin's pumpkin bombs can be made today. Hand grenades are about that size, if not smaller. The only difference is a mechanical versus an electrical trigger. Green flames are also real. They're produced when a variant of copper is burned, usually copper chloride or copper sulfate. This is because the copper releases photons on a green wavelength of light when its electrons are releasing energy. If we look closely at the pumpkin bombs, they all seem to be coated in copper, producing these green flames. The glider has seen very different iterations throughout the movies and comic books. It started off as a broom which made its way to looking like a bat and even a surfboard. These things get really crazy when Carnage, a symbiote like Venom, attaches to the Green Goblin and modifies all of his weapons to an even more deadly capacity. The most realistic glider is in fact the original one from the first Spider-Man movie. In the 2002 Spider-Man movie, there's exhaust coming out of it, which means he's burning some fuel, and if that's the case, he actually won't be able to fly for very long. If it was purely run on electricity, that glider exists today. Hunter Noel has engineered a Green Goblin glider from attaching multiple drones together, and it might not be as agile, but it flies. And it looks really cool. The other weapons coming out of the pumpkin bombs look like mini drones, and those are absolutely possible, and they can be made today. A small drone that just has to ram into its target so that the blades deal damage can literally be bought off Amazon. Now mind you, these mini drones are not going to be as dangerous as what Green Goblin is throwing. You would have to really up the RPMs, but even then, they're still going to hurt. Green Goblin is similar to Silver Surfer in that he's most vulnerable when separated from his glider. In the comic books, we see him use spears as well as smoke screens and other modifications in order to defeat Spider-Man. In the films, we see him use guns, missiles, and different types of blades. With no technology available to him, all Green Goblin has are the performance enhancers, which are no match for Spider-Man's speed and strength. 